Hey guys, I'm Aaron and today I'm going to give you my thoughts on when you should go looking for extensions. So we've done a couple videos recently where we talked about, you know, like uh, mastery of SketchUp. And uh, one of the things that came up with that is as people get more advanced, they tend to use more and more extensions. The question came out of that, which makes perfect sense, is, well, okay, Mr. Smart Guy, then at what point should I be looking for extensions? Um, and I wanted to address that and talk through that real quick, because there's a couple of, of thoughts about extensions that I just wanted to share. Again, this is not you know, absolute truth across the board. This is my opinion as somebody who's been using SketchUp for a, a little while now and taught a handful, a handful of handful of people how to use SketchUp. Um, but this would be my advice. Um, so first things first, when should you be looking for extensions? Uh, I believe that in order to be the best possible SketchUp user, designer type person you can be, you should spend as much time as possible learning the native commands and how to use those before you start looking for extensions. So you could absolutely install SketchUp and immediately go get Profile Builder and then just start drawing walls. Yeah, that is absolutely fine if that's what you're going to do. Um, the issue that comes up with that, the thing that people run into is they learn to use the extension and there's a lot of great extensions out there. They're super powerful, do amazing stuff, but there's very few infallible extensions out there, which means sooner or later, you're probably gonna have to use a native tool to clean something up or add something that the, the extension doesn't do, something like that. It's possible that you are okay with working in a little box that says, this is what my extension does and nothing else. That's cool if that's you. Most users wanna go beyond that. One of the things, the greatest things about SketchUp is that it's boundless. You can make whatever you want in SketchUp. You can go models, spaceships, or houses, or watch parts, whatever. If you're limited to just what the SketchUp, or just what the extension downloaded can do, then you're gonna be limited in what you can actually create with SketchUp. So for that purpose, I always recommend people get the hang of using the fundamentals first. If nothing else, just make sure you get through the fundamentals campus course, uh, learn.sketchup.com know how to at least do that before you go any further. When it does come time to look for extensions, I've identified three different situations where you might want to look into extensions, or it would make sense as for, for anybody who's who's a SketchUp user to, to check that out. So the, the first thing is, and this is probably the biggest one, is repetitive tasks. So if you find yourself doing the same thing over and over and over again, and every time you do it, it takes you 20 clicks to go do this thing, that's worth looking for an extension. Save yourself hundreds of clicks throughout your day by downloading an extension. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly where you want to go look for it. Um, anytime you can save your time modeling by having a command that automates that stuff, This is th think of it like a macro, right? So, I mean, in in office suite and adobe and that kind of stuff we have have macros where multiple steps get run in a single click those kind of extensions are huge time savers and anytime you're in a production uh process where you're modeling similar things over and over again or you have to keep doing this thing those are lifesavers something that can save you time and you know do a lot of the clicking for you that's a great spot to go looking for an extension the second thing that i would recommend is when you're modeling complex geometry. So this is stuff that goes outside of uh, the basics. I already mentioned something like Profile Builder. Profile Builder is a time saver because it draws a bunch of stuff at once, but it also makes complex stuff like uh, railings or you know fencing, stuff like that, all line up well and, and work well. Uh, organic modeling, if you're gonna use a subdivision tool or artisan or something like that. Uh, it's stuff that falls outside of the default geometry creation of SketchUp. SketchUp is a surface modeler, works really well with hard surface modeling. Um, if once I get into like a lot more smooth shapes and that kind of stuff, I wanna start looking at an extension for that sort of thing. So anytime you have geometry that goes beyond what the default tool set is created for, that's a great spot to look for 
uh, an extension. In those situations, that's actually a spot where you can create geometry with extensions that you might not even be able to get to with native tools. So in the first one where I was saying it just automates or speeds up the process, some of those modeling tools are allowing you to create geometry that the native tools can't even do, or it would be very difficult. I guess, theoretically, you could draw lines and edges in 3D space and create any geometry you want, but some of those modeling tools are going to help you to create geometry that is very, very, very difficult to do with just native tools. So if you're in a spot where you try to go in and the native tools aren't giving you the flexibility, aren't giving you the functionality that you need to, to create that, that's when it's time to look into those extensions. The third spot is when I want to go beyond modeling capabilities. SketchUp is a 3D modeling tool. It doesn't animate. It doesn't go deep with data or timelines or production schedules, um, ma advanced material lists. Anytime there's additional data beyond the geometry that you're creating in your SketchUp model, that is the third time that I would say, go check out extensions. Because there's some awesome stuff out there. I mean, there, there are entire workflows and suites of tools that are built on top of SketchUp that allow it to do stuff that it there, there's just no way to do in the native SketchUp. Again, that's not a fault that's not missing. This is stuff that is put on top of the existing modeling tool to allow you to get more out of it. So anytime that you're in that position where you need more information, more out of SketchUp than what it as a 3D modeler can, can provide, that's the third spot to go looking for extensions. And there's a bunch out there. I mean, that's another thing about extensions. When you're at that spot where you're like, I think I could be doing this more efficiently. I think I can go beyond what this is here. I need more information. When you have those thoughts going through your head, if you're working in a bubble, if you're isolated, I talked about this in the, uh, you know, where are you in your SketchUp mastery? If you're working on your own and you're the only one you know who uses SketchUp, it can be hard to understand that there is a better way to do some of these things. So I would recommend connecting to our forum, forums.sketchup.com. There's a link to it down in the description go hop on there because there's people all over the world on our forum and they can help you find the extension you need. Or you might have a process, you're like, I think I got this button down. I think I'm doing this efficiently as possible. Am I right? Is there a better way to do this? Is there a different way to do this? And they might actually have some input for you. It's funny because when we're working by ourselves, and I remember using SketchUp when I was all by myself, we're in this and we're like, okay, I'm the only point of reference, so I think I'm doing this right. I think I'm doing this efficiently. I think I'm doing this great. Turns out there's an extension out there that would cut my work in half easily. Uh, you don't know unless you ask, and that's where our forums come into play. And then, of course, the extension warehouse, going onto the extension warehouse and searching for the workflow that you need help with or the process you want to implement uh, can get you a good idea of what's there. Um, but nothing beats asking people, right? I mean, if somebody else has been through it, it's great to learn from what they've already got. So to recap real quick, anytime you have repetitive work you want to speed up, anytime you want to create geometry that you can't get to with the native tools, or you have additional data processes or workflows that you want to do beyond 3D geometry creation, those are my three spots that you should go check out extensions. I know this one was a little different from what we do, uh, generally speaking, on these videos. Um, I didn't even switch over to screen sharing. It's just Extension Warehouse just sat behind me here. Uh, but I really wanted to share this because I've had this question come up multiple times. Like, when does a pro, an expert, when do they go to extensions? And uh, as I tried to boil it down, that was as concise as I could be. Um, if you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, leave us a comment down below. This video exists because of comments from viewers like you. We love hearing what you guys need to, need to hear in order to get the most out of SketchUp. Uh, I would love to hear if you think that, did I miss something? Is there a different spot you should go for extensions? If so, let me know about that down below too. And if you have an idea that you think would make a good video, leave it here. Like I said, this video exists because somebody asked for it. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when it's showing something you want to see. Thank you.